<laughs> hey guys, I'm back. So I did a live video just a few minutes ago, but I realized when I did the live video that a couple of you, oh my goodness. Okay. A couple um, beginner balloon twisters are not going to see it because I realized live video only goes posts for people who are your friends. I think, I don't think it goes public. Anyways, let's try not to get in too long. The live video was quite long. Really fun for me to do. Um, if you have it. So some of you in uh, the BTC uh, Balloon Twister Central um, for Clayton's uh, page. Thank you Clayton for being so generous and providing that forum, forum for us because it has been a great um, knowledge base for me to learn so much along with uh, Balloon Friends which is a, the decorator forum that I love so much and I've been learning off of them so much that um, I actually I actually uh, am going to be doing a um, decorating for the high school play um, for their entryway. So um, learning and, and everything. So I am going to be contributing a little bit to these uh, beginner balloon twisters that have been asking several questions on BTC and I hope this will um, help answer some. Uh, one is what balloons do I need to start off with? And of course what we're going to review is um, the type of balloons you want to use. Now there are two different brands balloon twisters will use, okay? Qualitax and Patelitax. These are your love hugs. There is Sempertax out there that uh, is, is done and those are for, um, I think they're mostly in um, South America, Sempertax. I, or in Europe. I believe they're in Europe too. But uh, those are the ones. Now, beginner balloon twisters, understand. What we want you to mostly do is just go out. You're going to pay a lot. If you go to your local um, party store, you'll see a bag. And usually, it's not most, it's mostly Qualitex that you'll see, but you'll see a, a combination bag uh, that'll have several colors on it. Two 60s, okay? And it's usually Qualitex that, that, that will be there, the Qualitex bag. You will be paying a lot for it. But the problem is, is that what, what we're trying to instill in you is we want to know if you are serious. So if you are serious, you'll go buy that bag. And if you once you get through that bag, and it's a 250 count bag of balloons, once you get through that bag, if you have the itch, you'll want to go buy another bag. And if you realize that you're buying more than so many bags within a few days, like me, I was buying... I think 10 bags, 10 bags a week or something like that. I was seriously buying a lot of bags at Hobby Lobby and they weren't even the quality type balloons. They were the really inexpensive 150 count 260 balloons that, that, that were great and a cheap pump that kept breaking. Then I really started paying attention to, um, to the tutorials that I was watching online on YouTube of the balloon twisters instilling in my head, purchase the better balloons. Once I got a hold of a Qualitex bag of balloons, I, 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 my whole life changed even more. Um, realized the, the, te the, the, the quality of the balloon, the texture of the balloon, the, the, the ability to twist with the balloon, the consistency of, of, um, of the ability to work with a balloon that isn't going to pop 60 billion times and you go through tons of bags of the cheap stuff. Um, the other thing is buying a quality pump. Now this is the 160 pump, 160 meaning that it, it pumps up the smaller balloons, not the 260 balloons. 260, 160. This is the 160 pump. Those of you who do not mouth inflate, and if you want to learn to mouth inflate, that's fine, but expect your eyeballs to pop out of your head while you're learning and migraines and all sorts of things. My friend Aaron Dog Hayes informed me it's better to just use a pump. It's a showboat. Come on, I'm a, I'm a woman. And to, to be able to pull out a balloon and blow it up, it really seriously grabs the attention of, <laughs> of a lot of people. And considering I do reggae festivals, concerts, and stuff like that, you know, there are men standing around, and they're like, oh yeah, I knew that. And then you hand them a balloon, and they're like, ah, ah. 
They're like, oh my gosh, how did she do that? You know, you know, and, and then they buy you a beer. Um, <laughs> so. Okay. Anyways, what we're going to do is go through what I believe, and this is what I did, is what colors I needed to, what colors I needed for my basics. Okay. What is great is that Lorac, Continental, T. Myers, and All American Balloons have now prepackaged um, what they call the popular colors. So you can actually get these in a mixed bag similar to this, but they'll have the popular colors. As you notice, this is not one of the specially packed mixed packages that call popular colors. This is the fashion assortment. Now, beginner balloon twisters, you'll see the word entertainment assortment. Now, if you want to go nuts, go ahead and buy that one. A lot of people get frustrated because it has the um, jewel tones, the citrus colors, the, the blue and black and purple all look black it's very hard to tell the difference and then when you blow them up they look see-through they're called citrus colors um give me a half second here um i think this is a pearl though you'll 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 get it okay this is a this is the pearl okay this is red but it's pearl Okay. Now when you, it's, this is what kind of happens with that entertainment package sort assortment balloons. Now what you want is get the uh, popular one that says, I believe it says popular assortment. And uh, in the popular assortment, you'll get um, a lot of great. There's also assortment color that will actually give you these and it'll give you this brown, but it also give you a, a this is blush. This is mocha, this is gray, this is black, and this is uh, white. It'll give you also the um, chocolate, uh, chocolate brown. It's a chocolate. And that's where your confusion will come in. Your chocolate will look very much like black until you stretch it a little bit, shine a little light on it, and you'll notice, oh, that is another brown. So you get two browns, one black, one white, one blush, and gray. That is a great assortment to grab and um, for that. The reason why you want these colors is uh, basically right there you can create faces heads i have tutorials in there on faces and heads and stuff like that now the next one is the assortment bag the fashion assortment bag will come with a it comes with <clears throat> these are the 160s but the 260s will come the same it comes with pink red blue green white yellow and orange okay I kind of change it up a bit. This is the one, this is where that popular colors comes in. So you want pink, dark blue, yellow, purple, lime green, baby blue, and orange. Okay. You can do your superheroes with this. You can do, um, with the combination of these and these, you can do your Batman, your Captain America, your Iron Man, your um, Pikachus, your Squirtles. Okay, there's there's an extra on the Squirtles. You'll need a five inch round baby blush or baby blue. But I have a tutorial on that too. And uh, pink, you got your princesses. Um, so you got your pink dress, your white yellow dress, your red dress. You've got green, which can be for your stems for your flowers. Also can be for the body of your alien. You've got your gray, that can be um, your robot it can also be the arms and stuff of for your um <clears throat> zombies white white blush so you mix your white your blush actually you know what that's not a blush that is my toffee i just mix my b with my q's this is my toffee <laughs> <clears throat> there's my blush toffee is a great that's a it's a it's a Batelotex color. So um, I do mix my uh, cues with my bees because I love the different browns. I can get a chocolate brown, toffee, mocha, and if you get the Patelotex, uh chocolate brown, toffee, mocha, they're actually slightly different colors, slightly different shades, but mostly the same, but the toffee. So then you have three different shades. You can make three different shade color dog. This is when you get more intense on your balloon twisting. Okay, so anyways, you get your blush, you get your white, and you got your blue, you got an Elsa. 
Okay, so you got the GIF right there, right? You base colors here, you can create anything with. Okay, now to make everything intense, this is when you dive into other colors, specialty colors that more enhance. So instead of using the baby blue, you use a uh, turquoise or, or, or um, turquoise blue or, or something like that and you get more of the co colors you want for the different princesses and everything. The next thing um, I recommend, and I learned this off of my mentor, Chef Hugo here in Utah. He has uh, been my great mentor, life-saving guy that has also one of the people I love and enjoy for balloon twisting has taught me so much. Hearts. This is the Valentine um, assortment. Okay. It comes with the pink, white, red. Okay. Now they do have another one that comes with a pink, white, and red. Uh, it's not the Valentine assortment. Um, but, it, but when you blow it up, the red is more, like I said, it is a citrus. It's a, a clearer, um, see-through-ish type red. Uh, I want to say, um, I'm going to go nuts because there's so many different colors, so many different names and so many different profiles, uh, for these things, but it's, uh, but you want the Valentine assortment. The Valentine assortment is, is, is the solid. So when you blow it up, it's, it's a solid, <sighs> solid meaning that, um, you, you can't see my hand behind it. And when you get the other one, it's a citrus type color to see through and you can see a shadowy back. Which is great if you want to double stuff. That is for a little bit more advanced. We're talking beginners. Another one of the beginners also talked about what do I do with these? Okay, bee bodies. Make basically here's something I made. This was really quick made for um, the live chat. Basically, you create a bee, a wasp, and if you push the air through to the tip, twist it down again, you have the head of a parrot. Okay, so bird, bird body, bird head. These are techniques and stuff you can learn off of tutorials on YouTube from um, Michael Floyd, Holly George, and uh, Cody Williams. Uh, Twister sister, uh, Michael Floyd is uh, balloon-animals.com or balloon-animals on YouTube. Um, and Cody is Unicon, which is uni for uni, uh, single, un, one. He, he unicycles, so it's Unicon. And as you advance, one of the things you want to invest in, Sharpies, okay? Now, the only thing the colors work for is if you have white. So, <clears throat> Sharpies and, oh, do I have it? Mr. Edding. Edding 750 pens. These are brilliant pens. Now, the only places that I've found that you can buy these, you can't go to your normal um, hobby store to get these. These, you can get them on La Rock. Um, you can get them at T. Myers. You can get them at All American Balloons. And you can get them at Continental. They sell these. Now, they sell them all in different colors, too, which I'm slowly going to invest in. Is You can get all these colors in this. These are expensive, but I recommend the white one. This makes great for the eyes and then the, and, and, and doing this. Okay. This is when you're getting into more advanced, you're doing parties. You need to do the princess face and everything like that. Now, if you are not talented in drawing, I recommend, um, a couple people, regarding preprints that you can peel off and stick faces on. Oh, one is um, Bada Boom balloons, or, or Bada Boom stickers, sorry, uh, Bada uh, Boom. And uh, she has a slew. It is basically, you take the sticker, you peel off the back, stick it on there, and and then brilliant she does the eyes with the eyeshadowing and everything and the lips that all come in one smack so put it on there peel it off put it on peel it off and and so you have a layer that you're you're, you're peeling it off and you're putting it on you got an instant face now the other one is uh holly george has a printable eyes now this one gives you more control you uh, download her 
templates and you can then print off your ice on your own printer at your own leisure and um, when you run out you don't have to wait for an order to come in you just head on over to the local office supply store you get these um, label the label um, prints and uh, she has it all instructed on her pre-printable printable stuff and that's another one and um, there are several more people out there that sell pre-printed eyes you can also get them um, at Continental all American balloons, T Myers, and LaRock. They do have pre printable stickers that are great, fun, and wacky. Um, so there's access to people who don't have the talent to be able to draw and stuff. So I do um, recommend. There's your basics, there's your beginner stuff. Um, if you need any more questions or concerns, oh, <laughs> I did this last time too. You will need um, this is what I recommend. All these colors that you have here, okay, purchase the Q links or the Linkaloons in the same colors. Those exact, these exact colors you want to purchase in Linkaloons and in rounds, okay? Don't argue with me, just do it, okay? And um, that's it. So you got your, your Linkaloons. You guys don't know what link loons are. Link loons, Q links. Okay. Purchase them in the same colors I just showed you as your basic startup. And rounds, your five inch rounds purchase in that. That will get you started in doing your very first party your friend wants you to come and do. This way you're doing that. This is where you you utilize this. As you advance more, you'll want your printed balloons and stuff. So here's phase one. Beginner balloons. This is what you want. I'm going to do another one on phase two on the next phase of what you want to do when you're advancing and you realize you need to buy more. And you will. You will want to buy more. Okay? So thanks for watching. Enjoy. Um, again, sorry, this is very long, probably can't see the minutes on this because it's in white and everything's a little shadowy. Enjoy. Thank you for your support. Have a good day.